Well, everybody, look, big Henry is on the six meter disc. Over my shoulder here is Paul on the uh, 10 meter disc on the deer. Absolutely incredible. Um, so I'm going to give uh, Paul a wee ring, see how he is getting on. He's, he's really only got the, the 10 meter disc set up there and uh, we just want to give him a wee ring, see what he thinks of the 310R on the disc and then we're going to get Big Henry flat out on the job as well. So um, Big Henry's just absolutely loving it. Um, the new tires, pressure's down 12 on the back, 10 in the front, um, VFs, she's just absolutely roaring away. Um, we, she's just flying it, she's just an animal. Um, we knew the 310R was going to be a big ask for um, the 10 meter disc, but this ground's hard. If I can't do it in this ground, it's not going to be able to do it, but it's still 10 meters. It's still a problem. When I looked in on the phone there, um, and I checked the screen, looking at the screen, Paul, you know, we've still managing to put 60 liters an hour of fuel through when he was at max work rate. And here he comes, he's just, he's, <laughs> look at the dust behind him in Wexford. He is loving life. So look, yes, it's our tractor, it's my tractor. Um, but we're not going to get into the cab with him. Um, just not going to get into the cab with him. Still in a world of COVID. So I'm going to give Paul a wee ring here and see how we get on. So I'm going to get the phone out now, give him a wee blast. Whoo, dust, and see what the story is. So let's look up, Paul. Let's hope this works. Oh, and Big Henry's going to join him now as well. That'll, he'll blow you all away. That's a Pottinger Paul answers. Hello. Well, Pottinger Paul. Hello, Garrett. <laughs> How are you? I sure look. I am, <laughs> what can you say? An amazing place, I suppose. <laughs> 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 How's life in the 310R pleasing you? Sure, look, the 310R is so snug, I suppose. Um, there was always something about uh, the American made John Deere's that had the space in the cab or something, and sure, I'm lying off here like on an armchair. Um, yeah, auto steer is working. I've set my forward speed to 20k and she's just going to 20k and Yeah, that's I could it. see that. I was able to look in I was able to look in on the phone and see exactly where it was actually able to look at your screen. Okay. So I was also able to see that when you were in the other field there just getting set up this morning, um, you were also able to push her to about sixty litres an hour in fuel. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think the thing to remember is is the acres per hour that we're doing now. I think it's per acre a real low value if you did the calculation, you know. I, I'm sure there's a theoretical speed or a theoretical calculation of how many acres an hour we're doing now. And Well, ten, 10 meters at what are you talking? Between 15 and 20 K? Yeah. That's a lot. Well, tell me, Paul, what exactly are you doing? Yeah, well, technically now we're creating what they call around here anyway, a stale seed bed. So in this type of land, getting ready for winter corn, as soon as the combine is gone, we try to disc just the top inch. So to germinate any um, weeds, any uh, combine losses, and get that germinated and killed off before winter, winter sowing. And it's quite a difficult thing to do, and people might realize, I suppose, is to disc at an inch, you know, over the whole field is, is not easy when you have undulations and things because you don't want to bury this stuff either and bring it up at a later date. Yes, you really want to tickle the top of it. Absolutely. But you don't want to miss any. No. And like, 
you need a certain type of disc to be able to do that at 20k because not all discs are built the same yes they might look it but like I'm gonna I'll try go a little bit harder down this hill now and we'll see but like I'm sure we could get up to 25k no problem and this disc will not move she just sits down and whatever depth you set it to that's where she's gonna stay um, but Paul what what th th those th that disc in the back of that tractor is coming in about did you say 14 ton all in yes 14 tons so around 1.4 ton per meter per linear meter and that's what a lot of our discs would be at whether it's the three meter mounted version all the way up along would be would be that sort of weight per linear meter which a disc in these higher conditions needs that weight per linear meter you know yeah but like it's a massive disc like i mean that's a that the 7310R, she's, she's sitting there at about 13 and a half ton, give or take. So the disc possibly still has a slight weight advantage on her. Um, but that 310R with that tire technology on it and the pressure in those 900s let right down to like nearly 10 in the back and 8 in the front. There's no wheel slip, anything like that. And you're, 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 you are cruising about there nice, but that disc, that disc really and truly may need a bigger tractor let's be honest well it depends what you're doing like in ireland we yes. have a tendency not to do primary cultivations with a disc because we end up with a pan and we at pottinger in ireland wouldn't recommend it we go with a leg cultivator legs only for this type of heavy land not a combination of discs and legs but legs only so when you say you need a bigger tractor well right now we don't we're, we're hitting 20k um what more do you want I mean, the tractor is not lugging, it's uh, it's at its ease there. This disc then, you after you use your leg cultivator, you could come back in with this disc and you don't need to go so deep then just to create a finer seed bed. And like 10 meters sounds wide, but there's a lot of triple mowers in this country at that sort of width and they're working in a lot smaller fields than this. So yeah, I guess that's it. You think about Big Henry over here in the six meter desk, what's your thoughts there? Because <laughs> you were you were smiling earlier on when Big Henry was on the go. Hey, you know, it's only a matter of adjusting your driving style. Both tractors are more than fit for purpose. Big Henry, you know, you just keep the revs up and coming to the headland, you flick down through the gears, which is not a big deal because they're so smooth. And you drop five or six gears there very easily with that gearbox and uh, keep the foot down and then give her gears and you're coming back in and as hard as you can go it's the same thing with that disc behind Henry it sits down and uh, you have no limit on forward speed so I think we're in F15 at 2000 revs I don't know what side, what forward speed that is but it must be over 20 kilometers an hour as well and uh, yeah it was nice absolutely beautiful to see the, the 310R doing what she's designed to do. Yeah, I suppose it goes to show you two ends of the spectrum, like because I guess there's a lot of 310Rs working in the world and it's there's probably a lot of 8770s still working as well and at the end of the day they were both, they're both disking a field here now and, and, and doing the job. So now I guess I have one advantage, <laughs> is the auto steer. <laughs> no, I'd say we could sort that all the same. Yeah, and that's only a matter of a bit of sorting, but yeah, it is. It allows you to look back a bit more and you can open up this seat and you can really look at your machine, even though with this one you're you're always quite confident it's working. Um, yeah. 
But a really good mm -hmm. turning lock here as well, Garrick. Like, I mean, I could turn right back in on myself if I wanted to, but I'm skipping a pass just to make it easier when you have the auto steer well, we, you have that. We chose to keep the, 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 the front uh, wheels out of their way to seven because we felt they needed to be out there to go along with the 900s. And when you look at her from a distance, they don't, they don't look just as mental looking, you know? We'll see Big Henry coming there. <laughs> I'm going to follow him up now. I'm going to follow Henry because... You're going to follow Henry? Well, now, Henry's about 260 horsepower and a 6 meter at your, what, 310 horse or a 10 meter. So I don't know who's going to win this one. <laughs> well, that's 31 horsepower per linear meter. So, yeah, he's... I Yeah, he has an advantage a little bit. Oh, black smoke, huh? That's the other difference. <laughs> I <Yeah>. know. <laughs> black smoke. But, but those, uh, those Genesis tractors would have been popular in this part of Ireland for the time. Absolutely. Um, and they still are. Well, there's numerous uh, people around here with them on big square balers and... Yeah, I guess. Um, although there's a site there now that, that uh, I think anybody that didn't enjoy that site now would be... I'm full, I'm full now and he's leaving me, but I'm in a bit of rough tram line here. Yeah. He's, he's wished. I can't catch him. I don't know. You're maybe disappointed and sad. I don't know. That's kind of a bittersweet. I, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> huh? Well, well, you're pulling 10, 10 meters. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But still, I don't like being beaten. I could lift her a bit here and cheat, but I won't. <laughs> well, yeah. What else is happening in the demonstration? Because I think it's a fantastic thing that Pottinger's doing. I know we've joined forces with you with, it, with both the 310R and Big Henry on the um, the uh, Georgian, the, the Scania to help you. But what else is on show? There's uh, there's there's ploughs and, and drills and yes you know, what else are we looking at here we have a full range of tillage equipment so you start with these discs probably you have um a five meter power harrow or six meter power harrow six meter power harrow. six meter six meter power harrow and then you're running a seven fur reversible plow along with a five for now the five fur reversible plow is a very similar spec to the one we had at grassman hq with you last year very popular say up around north county dublin for the veg men it's it's a heavy type of plow fit for going very deep. But the seven fur reversible plow looks like a really good bit of kit and it's on like the creme de la creme of tractors as well. It's on an 828 fin, like let's be honest, and I would say that's a match made in heaven. And I would say you're right. The plow is nice, uh, very nice in a way because to, last year we had a similar plow and we were plowing with a 724, which is a much lighter tractor, as everyone knows. Well, what allowed us to do that was the weight transfer system. So there's a hydraulic cylinder put in traction on the back end of the tractor. And in tricky conditions, yeah, it really helps any tractor to get traction. On that fence, we basically have it turned off at the moment. It's not required. But if we got into slippy conditions here after rain, we could start to activate um, that weight transfer system but the Fent, yes it's it is a unique tractor i think in that color scheme um it's rented by us pottinger ireland for a season for doing demos and it is a match made in heaven for sure with that plow yeah and then we have two or three uh, corn drills there as well one pass systems oh fantastic fantastic well look paul looks like you've that field done yeah, I mean, it's so fast done now. I think you're talking about 30 acres an hour, I'm sure, um, you know, at this sort of speed. So, yeah, it's fast done. Well, look, Paul, thank you very, very much. In the meantime, and we'll, uh, we'll keep in touch with you, all right? Thank you, Garrett, and yeah, all the best. Cheers, yeah, Paul. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.